In that moment, I couldn't believe I had said it. You know, it was kind of like, there it's out. I want to retire. Yeah, this one here gets into our equipment room right now. This one will get us into the fitness center. This one will get us into the laundry room. And then this one is for the locker room. I have to turn them in now. So something I carried around for 37 years is finally coming to an end. I was an athletic equipment manager. Anything in sports, I set up. I start at seven, but I like to get, I get there every day about six o'clock. I like people to know that they could count on me, that I'll be there for them. I have three daughters and my son, and then I have 11 grandkids between the three daughters. And right when you see them, they're yours. It's like, like if they were never not there. It's, it's part of me. It's me again. They're all looking forward to it. They all have plans for me. Everybody says, Dad, we could do this. Dad, we could do this. My wife says, now we could do this. I'm excited. From day one, when I first started working at Rio Hondo, I put away money. I was 21, so I said, mm, I want to retire at 55. That seemed like a far, far away. You know, I thought, I'll never be 55. And before you know it, I'm 58 years old. And time went by really fast. It goes by too, too fast. When I said I was going to retire, I told my boss, because they make a party for everybody before they go, and I said, I asked you one thing. I don't want anything. I said, I just want to go quiet. I think I'd break down when I had to say bye. So I think I probably would just want everybody just to say, oh, there he goes. Laughing into the sunset. That's it. End of an era. 